Well, things aren't organized the way they will be, but uh, it's a start and I still have more things to bring out. I'm sort of focusing on getting that back room empty first. So, I'll go get some more stuff. Oh, the joy. Last night we were kind of talking about the possibilities with that old stove that I showed y'all this morning, that green cook stove. You know, I've also got that 1953 Crosley refrigerator, but I've also got in the kitchen uh, an old ice box. Right now it's painted red and white, but when I got it, it was green and white. And it had them old legs on it, like an old wood stove got, which I took off because it was a little bit too tall. That's so, honey, I could put those legs back on it and paint the doors green, bring it out here, and it would kind of match with the stove if we decided to set it up that way. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this room, but. Uh, I guess my first concern is just emptying it out. Oh, with that said, this paint can go out to the garage. I don't need that out yonder. And these nuts and bolts, I think they should go out to the garage. This is a handy dandy little grinder. Perfect for sharpening knife blades. I'm tempted to leave it in this room because I sharpen I actually do use it a good bit for sharpening kitchen knives and things like that. So I may leave it out here. Uh, somebody mentioned one of my table, one of the things I want to have for a table out there. This here is the top of an old sewing machine. This board right here. It looks like a big cutting board, but it's got a notch here. I think this is probably either the machine sat here or a belt might have sat here in a machine board. Alrighty then, I'm going to take, me and Honey Baby were just talking, I think we're going to tear all this stuff down, but not today. Take them shelves off the wall and redo this wall and then put something back up here that's going to be nice. Uh, but I'm going to go to the dump while well, I know they're still open and, and we'll come back to all this. <laughs> 